What's up guys, it's been a while, but I'm back again with another video, another wrestling topic here to discuss um, the fate of certain WWE superstars in NXT and why a lot of superstars nowadays want to go back to NXT, well, be sent to NXT. Uh, nowadays, I consider NXT more of a main, I consider NXT a main roster now as opposed to devel developmental for uh, like how like how it was when it first started with Dusty Rhodes and um, all that and when you were prime enough you'd be sent you'd be sent up to the main roster um, but yeah, uh, but, uh, back then, when you were in NXT, a lot of guys, a lot of female wrestlers were fighting and scratching to find their, uh, find their character, find wh how they would connect to the audience, love them or hate them, um, find some way to connect with the audience and, um, uh, whether you liked them, whether you hated them, and when they were ready enough, they'd be sent up to Raw or SmackDown. And nowadays, it's completely different. I don't necessarily think now, like now, I don't really think anyone really cares to be sent over to Raw or SmackDown, mainly because Vince... Uh, you get lost in the shuffle a lot, and you Vince pretty much buries any and almost all talent from NXT. The only ones that have truly done exceptional from NXT is the Four Horsewomen and um, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Uh, I can't just, I think that might be it. There may be more that I'm missing out on. Oh, Alexa Bliss as well. Um, God, who else? There's, that's all, really all I can think of from the NXT stars that have been sent over from, and it, from NXT to Raw or SmackDown that have done great. Um, but other than that, everyone else is probably has either done a uh, start off great. Uh, every time when someone gets sent from NXT to Raw or SmackDown, they start here, right? And then within just within a matter of weeks, uh, Something happens, uh, Vince isn't really that interesting in them anymore, and then they end up here. And then they just end up on losing streaks, or they wrestle on main event, or they miss out on a lot of pay-per-views. And it's just ridiculous, and it's, uh, it's just drives me absolutely crazy how someone as phenomenal as Ricochet is barely has the is barely on any of the pay per view cards and barely on WWE TV and that's one of one of the many reasons why a lot of guys and females want to go back to NXT is because even if you miss an event you're always doing something uh because uh, with, I think with Hunter, he manages no matter who who you are. Uh, he manages to keep everyone busy, whether it's a feud for a title or not even for a title. Just uh, even if it's just a squash match or uh, a match to build a minor feud, it doesn't really matter. He manages to have everyone. He keeps everyone busy doing something. So it's not like you're just sitting in the back eating, 
catering all the time, all like every week. I mean, even check out the stuff with Aaliyah and Robert Stone. That stuff has been comedy gold, even though I don't see Aaliyah going to Raw SmackDown anytime soon. I wouldn't want her to just because I feel like uh, they were Vince would squander that. And a lot of times he does not know um, when he has something good right in front of him. I mean, Ricochet, like I said, Ricochet and Aleister Black are two, two of the best uh, superstars in the company, but yet they're barely on any of the pay-per-views, barely on any of the shows. They don't really have any big feuds. Uh, what else? Uh, they haven't really been doing anything, uh, anything lately, and with Zelina Vega being released, um, I think that's another thing that caused caused the huge wedge between Alistair and Vince. And with him being requested to go back to NXT, I think there, I think with NXT, there's more freedom. Not only with your character, but a lot of the superstars want to go back to NXT for um, more freedom, uh, like uh, with their characters, with their promos, more. Um, uh, there's less less travel, of course. Uh, there isn't really that much travel in NXT other than the TakeOver events. Um, and also... There isn't a lot of, uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, uh, God, I, I had something else in my mind. Uh, 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 God, it'll, it'll come to me in a minute, but there isn't, oh, and he also manages the, like I said, he manages to have everyone doing something. It's not like everyone's not doing anything. Um, and also why a lot of superstars don't want to go over to Raw and SmackDown is soon as you go over to Raw and SmackDown, um, they take over with this new crap they put in any of your contracts and stuff. A, a lot of superstars are really pissed off that they can't stream video games on Twitch and it doesn't make any sense to me at all. How um, you went? They're not even allowed to play video games. I mean, even Paige has made this abundantly clear. Not uh, more than once that she pretty much risked her life for the company, her neck. But yes, yeah, she's not allowed to play video games, and she's on the verge of suing them. And to be honest with you, it might have to come to that because the fact that uh, Vince won't let uh, them even play video games is beyond me and it doesn't make any sense. That's the only, re only reason Zelina Vega made a OnlyFans in the first place is because she couldn't stream on Twitch. And uh, it was just heartbreaking to hear that she was she was released and to see her video um, that she was upset but she was more um, heartbroken and um, sad about it but yeah I think Vince needs to clean up his act because you have so much talent in front of you the future is literally right in front of you with Ricochet, Aleister Black um, God, who else? I'm blanking. Uh, Shayna Baszler. Uh, uh, uh th there's a lot. Th there's a lot, uh, that I'm missing out on. But, yeah, the future's literally right in front of you. But, yet, you're, uh, putting them in dark matches. You're having them wrestle on main event. You're not giving them any proper... Um, proper feuds, uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me, and, and you're constantly, uh, I mean, 
Oh, it just frustrates me. And a lot of uh, another huge problem is that when it comes to WWE, as opposed to AEW, the splits don't. Um, he doesn't. I mean, there's a lot of the tag team division. In AEW is hot right now. That's one thing I think NXT needs to work on. But then again, when NFC splits the team, um, it actually makes sense and there's a strong story that develops out of it as opposed to um, when Vince does it, we all see it coming and we all see it coming, but yet um, there's no like satisfaction out of it and a lot of times when he does it he does it way too soon like the whole heavy machinery thing is still I'm still confused by it I still think that they need to be a team as opposed to um solo wrestlers but I mean you know that's my take on why I think a lot of wrestlers now want to go back to NXT. So just take a look at Finn Balor. Uh, he explained it. Uh, Ricochet wants to go back. Aleister Black uh, was denied to go back. Kevin Owens said that uh, he wouldn't mind going back. Uh, I mean, sooner or later, sooner or later, this is going to have to treat his superstars a lot better uh, because he's going to have almost damn near a lot of damn near half Raw and SmackDown wanting to go back to NXT. So, yeah, stop splitting up the tag teams. Give these people something to do. Uh, give something, uh, give everyone something to do on these shows. Raw and SmackDown and these pay-per-views. Don't just have them sitting in the back and catering all the time. And stop splitting up tag teams way too soon. It Oh, God, just stop. But, yeah, that's my opinion on why I think a lot of WWE superstars are wanting to go back to NXT. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think it's a good decision? Uh do you agree with why a lot of these superstars want to go back to NXT? Do you agree? Do you agree with me? Let me know uh, what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.